everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with my mom. The producer. We were actually just out shopping and we thought that it would be fun to do a outfit idea video. A lot of you asked how I put together my outfits or winter outfit inspiration, so we thought that we would show you guys that, right? Yeah. We've got seven outfits for you that I've worn before. I like wearing different occasions, different events. I'll show you how I put them together and how I like to style them. I'm not a stylist or anything like that, but it's just what I do. So, let's jump right in. Starting with look number one. This is a casual outfit. This is maybe a brunch outfit or a hanging at home outfit. It's a weekend outfit for sure. What I have on here is this mustard yellow, which I am very into the mustard yellow. I know some people are not. It's a divisive color. Not everyone loves it. But this is a mustard yellow Madewell sweater. Yeah. And then these are Levi's high-waisted jeans that I got not that long ago. Hat is striped and it is also from Madewell. I like these sneakers because they're like a nice and simple white sneaker that kind of goes with everything. This is sort of a comfortable, casual weekend outfit, right? Welcome to look number two. That's weird. Look number two. Look number two. So for this outfit, this would be a meetings outfit, a casting outfit. I'm sort of professional because of the blazer, really. I'm wearing this Isabel Marant blazer. It's a little bit oversized, which is kind of nice. Under that, just talk slower. Under that, I have this bodysuit that is actually by Privacy Please from Revolve. This was only like $40. And then I have this Madewell belt on. And then I have the straight leg sort of, straight leg boyfriend fit kind of. These are by Citizens of Humanity. And I like whenever I wear a straighter leg jean or something that's a little bit baggier, I like to wear something tight on top, which is nice about the bodysuit. And then the shoes are Stuart Weitzman, and they're kind of like this little sock booty. I wear these all the time. I would wear this little Chloe navy blue bag that goes perfectly with this. This would be my sort of going out meetings look. Slash casting, slash out to meet VIP peeps, very important people. I don't know, I'm here to look professional. Welcome to look number three. Whenever I wear outfits like this, Kyle calls these my blueberry outfit. So clearly I chose the color blue for this. I am kind of into the sort of monochromatic look sometimes. Just really simple and easy. This one's super comfortable. This nice chunky sweater, which is actually from Zara. Belt again, which obviously if you can tell by now, I wear this belt a lot. It's made well. These jeans are also Zara. They were like 40 bucks, I think, which is awesome. The boots, which I love, are Stuart Weitzman's. Put on a slightly bigger hoop for this, just to jazz it up a little bit. Then with this, because I'm doing the all blue thing, I'll probably commit to that fully. Oh, oh. <laughs> I would do this really great. I've worn this, I've had this for so long. It's an Isabel Moran blue jacket, which I love. Am I talking too fast? I would do, again, this little blue Chloe bag. I am fully blue. Oh wait, there's more blue. <laughs> then this blue rag and bone scarf. But yeah, when I commit to the sort of one color look, I truly commit as I am here. This is really comfortable and cozy and I wear it all the time. It's a good one. For brunch, out with friends, shopping, date night, I don't care, wherever. Welcome to look number four. This look, I would wear it to work on a day where I know maybe I was gonna go out that night, maybe I was going on a date with Kyle that night. It's something that I feel like is easily taken from day to night and it's put together and sort of could be professional, but also I could wear it out with friends or shopping and stuff like that, which I like about it. So I'll show you everything that I have on. It's all black, which is very New York. Everyone here wears only black. So this long sleeve shirt here is actually a bodysuit from Wolfer. Really great basic that I love. I paired it with this really nice tailored helmet laying blazer. This was definitely like an investment piece. I think I bought this almost 10 years ago, actually. But I wear it all the time and it goes with everything. So sometimes it's good to invest in like certain pieces like that. Again, the black belt. I just always like a belt with every outfit. 
With that, I have these super high-waisted Citizens of Humanity jeans. These are my favorite high-waisted skinny jeans because they're really, really high and they just have a great fit. With that, I paired them with the slouchy boot. I wasn't sure about the slouchy boot situation, but I do actually really like it and they're really comfortable and cute. So this would sort of be that look. A blazer, I feel like, also brings things together a little bit, makes it like a little bit more put together. I would pair this with this faux fur jacket, which is actually also from Zara. I don't know if they still have this, but really affordable and just like a really cute basic and also really easy to move like to evening. To bring in a little bit of color, I would probably do a red scarf. This one is from Rag and Bone. Which I love this one. I've also had this for a really long time. And then for a bag, a Chloe leopard print bag. I never thought I would be a leopard print person, but this is actually adorable and goes with more than you would think. So yeah, this is kind of the look. <laughs> oh. Okay, welcome to look number five. We have another monochromatic look here, but also very comfortable. Can you explain monochromatic? Monochromatic just means all one color, and I think it's a really easy way to put an outfit together. So what I have here is this really, really oversized sweater. This is actually from Zara, which is great. The jeans are a boyfriend jean that are from Citizens of Humanity. These are great in the summer and the winter. I know some people are against white after, what holiday is that? Labor Day. Labor Day. I like the all white look in the winter. I think it's cool. Rule breaker. Rule right. breaker. I paired it with these white Stuart Weitzman boots. I know the white booty trend was very in in the last year or so, but actually I wear these more than I thought I would. So it's that's cute. I like this look. I would pair this with this really cute jacket, which is from Lovers and Friends from Revolve, okay, which I would maybe just wear it over the shoulder like that when I would go to work or wherever I'm going. But with this, I would maybe do sort of an oversized bag. This is usually the bag that I bring with me when I go to work because it's really big. I'll get my laptop in here. Anything I need, snacks, food, chargers, everything. It's like a bowling ball bag, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> or you can just put snacks in here, which is what I do. This is by Givenchy, it's old. But this is how I would put this whole little look together. And it's very comfortable. What's nice about the boyfriend jeans is that they're so comfortable and these citizens of humanity, obviously, I feature them a few times already. I love their jeans. So, this is it. What is sure it? This is from The Loft, which I love very much. It's oversized, sir. Sometimes you can wear it out. With my gap skin, <laughs> I have my wool socks on because my feet get cold. Welcome to look number six. I feel like this outfit I could wear to work, I could wear it to a casting, but also I wear this bodysuit really deep v-neck a lot at night. I'll wear it with tight jeans or loose jeans or a skirt, it works with everything. So with this bodysuit, I paired it with these Levi's. They are high-waisted. They're kind of that mom jean feel, which I like, not everyone does. I like it. <laughs> and then with these jeans, I'm wearing this sort of silver chunky belt, which actually I think is from Revolve, and these little silver hoop earrings. They're costume, I think, uh, whatever. And then I paired this whole look with these Stuart Weitzman sock booties once again. So here's this look. The top is by Makers of Dreams, which is also from Revolve. Very New York, so I would pair it with this leather jacket, and then I would pair it all with this little Chanel bag, which I've had for 10 years. I think I've had this for 10 years, right? This is the final look. Welcome to look number seven, final look. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love, love, love jumpsuits. I have so many in so many different colors. So I had to incorporate a jumpsuit look into this little video. This jumpsuit is actually by Danielle Bernstein. Most people know her probably as We Wore What. She is an amazing blogger and started this jumpsuit slash overall line. This is a satin jumpsuit, it's really comfortable. It's like a little utility jumpsuit, I guess they would call it. I paired it with 
My white Stuart Weitzman booty is just to break up the black a little bit. It has pockets, it's really cute and comfortable. I would wear this to work, to a casting, to a meeting, anything like that, because it's kind of stylish, but it's really nice and simple and easy to wear. This is the jacket. Ooh. My helmet line, which I've had for a really long time, would probably do this Chanel bag, which is a little bit bigger, but I like this one because I can fit my laptop in here. Anything that I really need for the day. And then I also have these little silver hoop earrings on. Again, I love these. And yeah, this is the final look. That concludes my seven outfits for you guys, or seven days of outfits. I hope this video was inspiring for putting together outfits for you or whatever it may be. I will try to link everything below if it still exists and still shoppable. Thank you for watching and thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment any of your questions below, and I will do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching and being here, and I will see you soon.